Hello, Moffat Mustangs. It's Mrs. Trigueros here, and we are doing our Moffat TV episode, which is all about re the reopening of our schools. And I have to say, I'm extremely excited um, to see you, Miss Feliciano, and I can't wait to have you and all of our students back on campus. I sure have missed you. And so today we want to talk about all the different things that you expect as you return to campus. So tell us, uh, what should we expect, Ms. Feliciano? Well, first of all, the biggest thing I want everyone to remember as they come back into their classrooms, their real life cl classrooms, I'm so excited, is. is to focus attention, okay? Let's remember our skills for learning. Yeah. We have our ears listening, our eyes watching, voice quiet, and our bodies are calm. Yes. Okay, and always concentrate, use our eyes, ears, and our brains and ignore distractions so we can do our best learning. Yeah, and that I think that sometimes is a hard one, isn't it, Miss Feliciano, to ignore those distractions. But I think back in the classroom will be good. So here we go. I think so. So I know we probably have a lot of questions and here's, um, so we, let's talk about a couple of the questions. So question one is what will school look like now? And question two is, what things do I need to do before school every day? Good question. Number three, how do I check in at the, like, where is that going to be? And what will that process look like? And how do I line up before class? Oh, yeah. And kind of where, too. Yeah. Number five is, how do I remain socially distant while walking on campus? That's a good question. And what does my classroom look like now? Right. Hmm. That is, that's a really good question. And how will dismissal work? And what is the restroom procedure now? Yeah, and it has changed a bit. So I think these are all really helpful questions that we will review. Now, the wonderful thing, Ms. Feliciano, is that we will have so much help. And you can see our recess coaches who have missed all of you so tremendously. There is Mrs. Andrea, Mrs. Maria, Ms. Marisol, and of course, Ms. Sophie. So fun to see them there. But they will be right there to help guide you. So no worries, no stress. You don't have to remember all of this on your own. And of course, there is our amazing support team, Mrs. Guerrero, Mrs. Herrera, Ms. Kim, and Ms. Celia. So the other thing is you will see lots and lots of signs on campus. There will be so many signs posted everywhere that can help remind you of what you need to be doing. Yeah. So to remind you that we need to stay six feet apart, right, at all times, um, you know, to wash your hands, wear your masks, keep socially distant. Uh, there will be signs on the floor to tell you where you should stand mm -hmm. to keep it a safe distance from others. And we always remember to be safe, respectful, and responsible at all times. Yeah. And so important, this new rule that we have, we must wear our masks, okay? And the proper way to wear your mask is that you have to loop it around your ears, as Mrs. Trigueros is showing you right now, around your ears. It needs to cover your mouth and your nose at all times. And it needs to stay under your chin, Yes. okay? Very nice. You can nice. see one of our lovely students wearing his mask properly here but then here's a place where you know and sometimes if we talk it kind of comes down like this right well we have to work on keeping it above so we kind of have to adjust it because we don't want to be touching our mouths um, and our noses a lot because then we're touching everything else so we're just being safe in that manner so again it'll take some practice but we'll figure it out okay hmm what will school look like now well, number one is everyone will have a mask, have to wear a mask at all times. I'm going to say that again. We have to wear masks all of the time. When we're on Zoom, we haven't had to wear those, right, Ms. Feliciano? But once everybody's here, we have these awesome Moffat Max masks that you can wear. You can see me there. So that will be something a little bit different. And number two, everyone will have to stay at least six feet apart wherever they are. Right. Anywhere at all times. 
And number three, of course, is everyone will wash their hands often, okay? So the next thing we wanted to make sure to discuss is before you come to school, what are the things that you need to make sure you have done or have with you? We will have a daily wellness app and we'll talk about that a little bit more later, but we have to have a clean mask and a spare mask. Now, if you forget, no stress, we have plenty. However, we wanna have those in our backpack. Um, the other thing we must have, Miss Feliciano, because it's part of our tools for learning, and this is new, is to have our iPad 100% charged and our chargers in our backpacks every single day. So charger, iPad, charger, iPad, charger, iPad, mask, charger, iPad, mask, right? Yeah. And the other thing, have your earbuds with you, okay? Next, you need to have a clean reusable bottle so that you have plenty of water because you will be able to drink water. We're not gonna have lunch here, not yet anyway. But, um, and you wanna make sure to have and wash and clean all of your materials that you bring from home, you have to wash them every night. So make sure if you have a, a reusable mask, you use a different one the next day or your mom can just wash it at night or you can too. Absolutely. So the next question is, how do I check into school? Mm -hmm. Well, as you can see, as we're showing you like in my Bitmoji here, you're going to enter through the front entrance of school. Okay, mm -hmm. that's the only entrance for you is the front entrance. And everyone will line up, as you can see in this picture, right outside of our school, everyone will, is going to line up six feet apart. Yeah. And then a Moffitt staff member is going to take your temperature, okay? And make sure you have your mask, okay? They're going to check to make sure you have your mask on and that it's been worn properly. Yes, for sure. And so as you walk in, it's kind of cool because we have this new standing temperature gauge, Miss Feliciano. And really? there, so you'll just stand there. There's going to be a little X where you stand and then it'll take your temperature. There'll be a staff member next to you um, who will kind of check and say, okay, you know, have a great day. So that will be something that's a little different. Again, it's only at the front gate where you'll be entering. A few of our bus riders will come in the other um, entrance right there by the bus, but pretty much everybody comes in through the front. Yeah. So how do I line up before class? Okay, very good question. You're gonna go to your hallway, wherever your hallway is, and you will see that we have these little pieces of tape. And so that'll keep you six feet apart. Um, you can see our wonderful students here. Those are our ACES students, but they're here at Moffitt. And um, you can see that they are six feet apart and they're gonna wait, you're just gonna wait outside the hallway till your, your teacher opens the door at 7.55 and then they'll let you in, okay? So okay. again, we'll have plenty of adults to tell you what to do. This is just so you kind of have an idea. Now, how do I remain socially distant while walking on campus? Yeah, that's different, is it? We're used to like walking close yeah. to our, our friends. Well, as you can see here, we have orange arrows everywhere. Um, it's been, it's really nice because they're painted on the ground and they're just uh, more than six feet apart. But as you can see, we have our students who are walking six feet apart and they're gonna follow the arrows. So here, you know, if they're coming this direction, you'll see the, the arrows going, you just have to follow the direction of the arrows. If you're going the other direction, you'll see there's um, on the blacktop, there's actually orange arrows there. So just follow the arrows. It's not too hard. That sounds simple enough. Now, the next question is, what does my classroom look like? Oh, and you're so nice. You're there greeting, right, Ms. Feliciano? Yeah. That's awesome. Exactly. Well, this is an example. Um, you will come to your classroom and you will see that all of the desks are about six feet apart and you will have these plexiglass um, things right there. And that's just for your protection. And we will get to see if you can see there's the plexiglass, uh, they're more, they're six feet apart. And then there's a really big plexiglass in the front. And some teachers will choose to sit behind the plexiglass like at their table, um, but or, or they'll stand behind the plexiglass. So it's different, but they're right there. And it, again, it's just so that we can all be safe, Miss Feliciano. So it's nothing to be afraid of or anything. Um, we're all just in this together and we know each other. And so it's so wonderful because everybody knows their teachers so well now, Miss Feliciano, over, over Zoom. And see, and like in this picture, it 
this is a good example. These are our ACES students, again, sitting in the classroom, each at their individual desk, and the teacher is in the front of the room behind yeah. that large plexiglass. Mm -hmm. So exactly, like you said, it's not scary. It looks, mm -hmm. it looks perfectly normal. Once you put the kids in the room, right? Once everyone yeah. gets in there, it's going to feel, it's going to feel so much better. So yeah, and that's okay. better. I and like that a lot. Together. Okay. The last thing is, of course, you'll have to use the restroom. And so, you know, you raise your hand or whatever way that your teacher um, has you let, has you what their procedure is to let you know or let them know that you have to use the restroom. But um, we will only have two students in the restroom at a time. Again, there will be adults guiding you. But if there are two students, you'll just wait outside, wait your turn right outside the door. And don't forget to wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. What does that look like, Ms. Luciano? Yes. So we, there's a, this is important to know how to wash your hands properly. Yeah. First, you wet your hands. Then you get the soap and then you scrub for 20 seconds. Right. Okay. Count to 20, mm -hmm. then rinse your hands off completely. Get all that soap off your hands and dry them. Okay. okay? Completely dry them. And, and I like the way that this poster says that you're a germ buster. You know, the awesome thing too, um, students, is we have our faucets will remain on for at least 20 seconds. So that'll kind of give you some time. So you, you know about how many seconds it's been. That'll, that'll kind of tell you. And then you won't even have to touch the paper towels like we used to. You can just put your hands underneath and the paper towel comes down. So those are some cool things that we have that are new here. So our last thing is how do I get dismissed? And your teacher will dismiss you right at 1030. Your families will be outside. Your, your teachers are gonna walk you to the gate. Those first couple of days will be, we'll be a little nervous if our mom is there, but our teacher and all the staff members will be right there. And your parents, you know, they wanna see how your first day was. So just take comfort that we have the whole process ready and it's gonna be so delightful to see all of your friends, to see your teachers in person and for us just to come enjoy being together once again, Ms. Feliciano. It really is. I'm so excited to see all the students who are returning. And do you see how excited our, our Bitmojis are there, Ms. Feliciano? That's how we feel, isn't it? It is. So if you have any questions, you know that we're here for you. Um, we can't wait to see you. We'll see our kindergarten through second graders on the March 29th. And our third through fifth graders will, will be here joining all of them right after spring break on April 12th. So we can't wait to see you. And we will talk to you soon. Bye.